doing a Christmas shirt a little too early, but hey. <laughs> um, I slept wonderfully last night. I did wake up at 3.15, but I've been doing that at home too. Don't know why, but let me show you all this hotel. Um, and then I'm going to give you a rating, but this is definitely a downgrade from where I've been staying at recently at Marriott's, but it's still really nice. So let me show you. All right, so you walk in and I mean, just this huge entryway, it's really nice. Fridge, microwave, in the bathroom. And I do love that they have the bath mat, that's really nice. Um, there are a lot of scuffs on the door, just the door doesn't look appealing, but that's okay. Um, and the sink is older, obviously. And then we got two queen beds. I mean, it is older furniture. It's just an older hotel dresser. And then I love the view. Yes, this is definitely an older hotel, but it is nice. Um, the breakfast was really good. It had uh, eggs, sausage, biscuits and gravy, waffles, yogurt, like all of the really nice breakfast items. But the breakfast area was really small. Like it's almost like they combined two hotel rooms for the breakfast room is it, it was weird so that was the downside of that just the breakfast area really small um i'm gonna give this place a nine just because you know like i said doors it's just got a lot of scuffs and it's older um in the breakfast area but other than that it was clean it was comfortable really comfortable and it's in it's not in the busy side of branson so that's really nice and the name of this place is roadway inn uh, so really nice, highly recommend it. I'll put this link for it below. We got this room for last minute, $76 for one night, which is not bad at all. Not bad. So highly recommend this place. So now we are moving on to Ha Ha Tonka State Park and a girl I follow on Instagram, another tra fellow tra traveler, she just went there and she said it was amazing. I'm so excited. There's a lot of history behind it and I'll explain it, but got to finish wrapping it up here and then get back on the road. to Ha Ha Tonka State Park. Oh, oh, I'm gonna give a little bit of history as you see all the all the things, but um, there's a lot of history behind it. So the first part of the trail we're going to is Lookout Tower. spring trail back there down there is a really pretty spring but it's 316 steps down and you know when you go down you got to come back up so my mom's like uh yeah no <laughs> I may have done it if she weren't here I don't know but we like did a halfway trail and then we got a you saw the really pretty view of the castle now we realize we got to go back around to get to the castle so <laughs> We're doing good. She hasn't fallen yet, so that's a plus. Construction of the Ha Ha Tonka Castle was started in 1905 by Robert McClure Snyder, a Kansas City businessman who purchased the large property after visiting there in 1903. Following Snyder's death in an auto accident in 1906, the castle was completed by his three sons in the early 1920s. The building was used as a summer and weekend home by the Snyder family who lived in Kansas City. In the late 1930s, it was used as a hotel. However, it was destroyed by fire in 1942. Although the castle walls were stabilized in the 1980s, a new survey in 2016 determined the portions of the ruins, including its arches, were seen mortar and stone failure with a potential beginning of collapse. This 
is a map you can pick up at the visitor center, which really isn't much of a visitor center. And it tells you each trail, markings, how long the trail is, what each trail has to offer. So highly recommend picking one of these up. Okay. You can literally spend all day at Ha Ha Tonka State Park. Yeah. Love the name of that. There are so many different trails. Just uh, there's a park area. I mean, just so many different things. Um, obviously, we don't. We're not going to do every little thing. Um, and then, obviously, during the, in the summertime, there's a lake here, and you can kayak. I mean, just all these different, all these different things you can do. I think it's awesome. Um, so highly recommend coming to spend the day here at Ha Ha Tonka State Park. And the visitor center also has really nice bathrooms and a vending machine. Didn't notice that before my mom did. So now we are going to kind of mosey our way home. Um, if we're going to get something to eat, I'm definitely hungry now after walking. I mean, I think we walked at least a mile. I could say that. Just a so anyway, we're going to find something to eat and we will show you what we're going to have for lunch. Ha Ha Tonka State Park is in a small town of Camden Tin, Cam, Camden Tin, Missouri. There are literally four different Mexican restaurants here, so we chose the one with the best ratings. We chose El Patron's Mexican Restaurant. So excited. I totally forgot to show y'all the food, but it wasn't that great. My fajitas were good, but like the chips and salsa, the salsa tasted like spaghetti sauce. I poured, I put some salt on it to help it. My mom got a lunch burrito and it came with red sauce on it and she was pretty sure it said cheese sauce, but then it didn't even have cheese inside the burrito. No so <laughs> it was, it was a dairy free burrito, which I would have loved. Well, I can't have the burrito. Uh, yeah. So, and the service was terrible. Our waiter was like, how may I help you? Like you could hardly hear him. We had to ask for him. Yeah, it was. So we do not recommend El Patron, El Patron, whatever you want to call it, in Camden 10, Missouri. So we are headed home now. Well, yes and no. We have some sick ones at our house and we're not going home to that. So we found a really good deal on a hotel in Rogers where, we're, where we live and that's what we're going to do. So anyway, thank you all for watching today. Hope you enjoyed Ha Ha Tonka State Park and make sure you check it out.